in the wake of NAM, I'm going to uh, pick apart a couple of uh, new products that are uh, on their way. Uh, I would assume that Bitwig would be released this year. Um, not a whole lot of news since uh, middle of December. Um, they came with a video two months ago, but um, uh, they have all of their um, uh, their uh, their devices here, and uh, I just want to go through them. And if you can see that, perfect. Uh, so what they have is a basic uh, synth um, two shape uh, with pulse width, uh, their sync uh, in unison, so you can. Um, bump up. I'm not sure what the unison will go to. I assume it would go to eight, uh, so it'd be a quite a versatile synth for pads, um, maybe even leads as well. You have your uh, your oscillator one-two mix, and then your noise, your gain, your filter with uh, ADSR, and your amp, your uh, ADSR amplifier here and your modulation matrix, your glide, and your output, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure what this effects thing is. Maybe that's another window. Uh, having its own kind of effects without dropping in more, just having, you know, basic chorus or delay would be pretty cool. Uh, and a, yeah, on next, an ASM kit. I think that's just a preset name. This is basically a drum machine. Again, they have the the effects box here, so I'm I'm thinking maybe you take the effects and you can just drop them into this little box, and it's uh, more tight for organization, which is pretty neat. Um, you have uh, your kick. I think this is basically a kick generator, uh, like the 909 or 707. You have your decay amount tuned. Uh, your other decay, your tone, and your output. You can make some really nice um, kicks, I would assume. Um, I don't see anything for click. Oh, there's click right there. Cool. Because you can add click. I don't know if you can um, make the click more intense or not, but we'll figure that out. And your snare. I believe it's a white noise alter, alterer, maybe. Maybe it's a diff like a percussion type instrument and a hi hat generator. So basically, this this would be like your something akin to a 909 or a 707 or any kind of groove box, uh, each with its independent effects. Uh, and you could probably load that into this uh, kit and then save them for later, which is pretty neat. That'll be exciting to uh, look into. Hopefully they make more of these little niche uh, products, or uh, sound devices, they're calling them. Because you have your looper sampler um, with all the usual suspects, ADSR, and all that fun stuff. Your loop, uh, reverse, or uh, normal, you have your it looks like your tune C3 you can you know find the root key and do some funky stuff FM4 obviously uh, an FM uh, synthesis synthesizer I got your your four operators uh, your brightness really interesting to see what that does and you have a uh, modulation matrix and again the effects box up here I really want to know what that does um, insta layer so I think if you group uh, more than one instrument it'll automatically go into here and yeah who knows and I assume the um, you, you can uh, um, a link uh, the XY to different parameters and anything as long as you're in the group I assume onward uh, reverb uh, you have your room types your ink effects and wet effects maybe that's pre or I don't know who knows um, and I guess this is on tank mode I guess you can choose different modes and then your uh, 
delay. I believe it's a hybrid. Uh, you can go ping pong or you can go um, just a regular delay, detune. Maybe you can make some neat little minimal percussive hits. And uh, yeah, you can, you can either be synced or by steps, I would assume. Or you can have uh, input left and right going to the left and just right going to the right, which would make some pretty cool effects on uh, very wide material. EQ5 as opposed to EQ8. Uh, I do not see a mid-side mode. I would assume they would have a mid-side mode. A shift, it'd be pretty cool. It's Yeah, I guess it's a pretty cool idea. If that does what I think it does, I think it'll move everything over and you get some nice little comb uh, filtering effects. It'll move all your points over, I'm guessing. Yeah, we'll have to find out, though. From the looks at it, I, yeah, I think it is uh, mid-side and left-right. Indeed, you get your dynamics, which is basically a, a compressor. And, yeah, peak RMS. I don't see an octo mode or a feed-forward mode. I'm not sure what quiet is or loud. I'm not quite sure, but there is a sidechain option. And... I assume you can see the gain reduction in the middle and the input on the outside. Who knows though? Uh, distortion. Uh, I believe this would be a saturation uh, soft clip and then your wet effects. I'm not sure it would go there. I'm sure they're going for in Bitwig a very um, organized kind of effects chains that you can just uh, consolidate and have them in different parts and uh, save them for later. I'm sure they're big on that instead of, you know, in Ableton, just having massive chains that go on for a mile. Yeah, and uh, this would be your um, auto filter or just filter in general with your LFO and your ADSR. I believe you can you get, you can trigger it uh, from MIDI. And yeah, you got your envelope follow and uh, pre and post boost, which is pretty cool. Your chorus, yeah. Flanger, uh, yeah. Your bit crusher with jitter. That is going to be big. Uh, jitter. Uh, Ableton does not have jitter. It kind of modulates the... Um, it modulates the... The bit, or the wet dry, or it modulates something. And that is a uh, popular feature in um, Massive. Yeah, you gotta jitter that shit. Blur, I'm not quite sure what that does. This looks like some sort of schematic where you mix the left and right side material. No, 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 you, you offset the material of the left and the right um, f uh, to make it more wide you can offset the left and right, which is really interesting. I really want to try this. Uh, and you can go per millisecond. You can make your claps sound awesome. And yeah, you don't have to split the audio and then uh, bounce it. You can just do it in here. It's a good fucking idea. And I want to try it. Uh, Bode, Bode 10. Um, I think this would be some kind of LFO you can link to something. You can link in you drop your instrument in here I think or maybe it's a, a ring modulator I am not quite sure uh, mid side I believe this would be just boosting mid or making things mono uh, your F split I'm not quite sure you could s I don't know I want to try that and uh, V split I don't know we got to figure that out together. Uh, ring modulation, yeah, it's a it's a given. RS1 would have to be. I don't know. Have to figure that out. And uh, amp mod, I'm not sure either. Maybe um, that would be when you. Um, I don't know. Test sign. That'd be a sign. Uh, like a tone test or whatever I'm assuming and tool would be um, 
you can uh, phase the left and right boost in your um, your chain. It's kind of like uh, utility in Ableton, and yeah, that was pretty drawn out. Um, yeah, it's just possibly uh, like a whole new way to um, link effects, have effects within effects, and just um, be able to dig deep or just bury things and then use them later. And you can just go on forever. And I'm assuming when they have uh, their modular kind of hookup, uh, then you can go into each of these and uh, edit it and move it around. Well, yeah, take care.